Now I need to take this shitty code and make it faster. I believe in this. And I think I f***ed up. If you are not ready to sacrifice human lives for coding, this video might not be for you. Today we're gonna go back to a level I haven't fully completed. See, both of the optional challenges not done. I think it's this one. And it's not the one. <laughs> there we go, this is it. The mode code. What we have to do here is count the number of zeros, ones, twos and so on all the way up to fives in this room. So if I run the code, you see we got these numbers from zero to five, which are completely random. And we need to write the number of zeros on this cube, ones on this cube and so on. So ideally each of these people, so ideally we want to assign a number to each of these people. Then they're gonna go search this grid, count the number of their assigned values and then write the result on this cube down here. As always, we have a few optional challenges. The optional size challenge, we need to use 24 commands to achieve what I just said. My best was 26 commands. Also, we want to complete this assignment in 158 or fewer seconds. My best, 161. So you can see in both challenges, I'm really close to the actual solution. Now the code I have here is fairly long. I mean, ridiculously long, 44 commands. So I believe this is for the speed challenge. Let's just try running it and see how this works. So they each write a number, then they just do a simple search. And hopefully those are correct. Yeah, 165 ish seconds. So if we simply speed this code by seven seconds, we should be golden. My original draft used uh, a listen and tell mechanic when assigning the numbers right here. So the person on the left side would write their number and tell the other person that they're ready and they would look at this cube and say, oh, so he's zero, I must be one then. That's very slow. This code takes... Holy shit! Okay, so we're not doing this. this. This is crap. 26 commands. Oh, that's it. This wasn't supposed to be fast. This was supposed to be short. So we remove two commands here and we should be fine. Or better yet, write our own solution from scratch. I'm gonna try that and if I fail, I'm gonna take advice from the comments of the original video. I don't think there's much to do in this part of the code, 26 commands need to remove two. And what's maybe a bit long is this beginning part where they assign numbers to one another. So if I run this, they all check if there is a worker to the left of you. If that's true, you're gonna stop there and listen and wait. So all of these people are waiting. Then this lady steps down because there's no one to the left and writes her number on this data cube. That's zero. She triggers this person, he looks bottom left and adds one to that number. So that's one, he steps down, writes one and tells the other person. This is how they trigger each other, write the numbers, which is how they tell the other person what number they're assigned and that's it. Could I make this better? Let's just remove all of this and what they do here is they step towards the left side until they reach the wall. So what if I tell them look bottom left and if there is not a data cube you're gonna have that number but you've counted so they're gonna be counting their steps towards the left side and once they don't see a data cube that's their number. So start at zero memory 2 is set to zero and that's what they're counting. Yes, that's right. So now start stepping. And I'd say if under you there is not a data cube. No, sorry. Let's do it the other way. If under you there is a data cube, you're going to calculate in memory 2 what's memory 2 plus 1. So increment that number by 1. And by the time you're done, you should have the right number. But first step, because this lady has to step first, no data cube, so don't calculate. Will this work? How many commands? 21 commands, well fuck me. Let's try this. And they're not writing anything, so not even wasting time with that. And let me see what... Okay, they shuffled. Fuck's sake. So I, I don't know what person is 
like which value does anyone have but this is one this is two three this should be zero five and four three five four yeah yeah this this should work let's speed this up i mean come on that's gonna be genius if i pull this off almost there and they've already started writing and that's it yes 21 commands 24 needed beautiful so that's the optional size challenge completed now i need to take this shitty code and make it faster there is a lot happening here so what they do is they step down and yeah from right and left side they start writing the numbers so i might actually do the same approach here as i've done before yeah just copy this bit of code and put it there because i think instead of them going from right side and left side writing numbers and triggering the people it's just faster if they walk left straight away maybe do some calculating but at least they're all working at the same time don't have to spend time writing the numbers shit like that holy shit look at this this beginning all of these basically 20 or even 23 commands are there just to you know figure out what number they each should have i'm gonna be bold and i'm gonna just discard all of this crap yes yes remove everything drop as well and this is what we need right then i believe they're counting on the way up as well as on the way down so we want them to end up where on this data cube once they're done right so i'm gonna tell them walk left so they're gonna be here then step top right and up once not twice there we go and now we have the same jump as we did before now we just need to put this if statement there if under you there is a data queue increment memory two by one there we go now does this crap work and there we go hopefully calculating correctly maybe this one is gonna be wrong i'm not entirely sure but i don't think it should i think they should have calculated it correctly so is this fast enough i see it's working and not at all we probably saved like one second there not enough so something else i vaguely remember from reading the comments a few weeks ago is that we don't have to walk so much but we could start at the second column and check the the column we're on and the left side as well then two steps right check these two steps right two steps right so basically we should be able to half the number of steps needed so instead of starting at this cube i'm gonna put an additional step to the right or just change this to top right there we go so from here top right top right second column now you should check if the data cube you're standing on is the number you're supposed to be counting in that case increment but also if to the left of you the data cube is also the one you were counting then you do the same increment in memory 3 memory 3 plus 1 step up and repeat that's great once you're here I believe they overstep right so they step up at the end and then check if they're standing on the data cube they're not so step bottom right on the other data cube so what we do here is take an additional step to the right so skip two columns from here bottom right right and now they're here walking down so again if you're standing on the data cube you're counting increment but also if to the left of you there is the data cube you want to count you increment step down and continue and once there where so this is up down up down so they are here step top right as per usual and then they check is there a wall next to me yes there is in which case pick up your data cube write shit on it wait pick up memory one do i have memory one stored correctly yes i do okay great this has to work and has to be at least twice as fast come on i believe in this and i think i fucked up yeah they are taking the wrong what the shit that's that's wrong yeah that didn't work 
because the steps are wrong. So here we're going up, then switch, that's fine. Here we are going down. Yes, and I messed up this switch here. So step top right and additional step towards the right. There we go. Now it's gonna work. Second column and fourth column and sixth. And now we should have, yeah, eighth. So let's see. It seems pretty fast, honestly. Is it fast enough? That's the question. Oh, yes. Nicely done. Not bad at all. And we've actually removed so many commands. We're down to 33. So I didn't have to do that bullshit optimization at the start. Oh man, I'm really happy with this. Now let's check the comments. Damn, this code isn't small, yet you got it working on first try and you were very close to challenge. That's impressive. Oh well, thank you very much. Really nice to hear. I think he's referring to my vomit of a code with 44 lines. <laughs> Now I realized there's a slight problem and the reason I'm only checking the left side and the one I'm on and not the right side as well is because we don't have nine columns but eight instead. So if I were to go in the second column and check left and right as well, then take three steps left and right, then another three steps, there is no data cube on this side. But perhaps I can go around and hack it in a way. So let's try doing that. And here I'm gonna take an additional step to the right. No, that's that's wrong, that this was correct. Start at the second column. But here we add an additional if statement. If to the right, there is the number we're trying to count. Increment the counter. Then once done, we take three steps to the right and again increment. So we're going up, then down. And here we're gonna be going up. So when going up, which is, yeah, this part, we only want to check the right side if there actually is a data cube. So let's say, I mean, is this gonna work, first of all? Because I think it might. Let's just check this, because me, you know, looking into this could be wrong. Okay, they, they messed up. I forgot to oh, shut up. I forgot to put the additional step right here. And I think they're gonna end up here and gonna be confused because this if statement is not gonna be there. You know, check the wall. So th so they're go not gonna... Oh, they, they did? Wow, how come? That's, that's surprising, honestly. Or maybe it's not. Okay, 131, that's interesting. That's essentially exactly the same as before. So it was correct, but here I'm gonna say if to the right of you there is a data cube and that data cube is the correct number. So that I already think should be faster because now they were comparing it with zero maybe? I, I, don't, I don't know what happened. Let's, let's just see, is this any faster? Not at all, surprisingly. All right, never mind. And what happened here is that the last column, they're gonna go up last. So that's, oh, wrong if branch, sorry, let's try again. Right of you, there is a data cube and it's the right number. So so now they should skip this column altogether. And let's see. No, it's in fact even slower. All right. All right. Sorry about that. Anyway, last column, they're going up, which is this branch. Then once they reach here, this spot, they step bottom right, 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 so that's waste of commands. Then they check for a data cube, step up, right, right, and then check for the wall. So what I'm gonna do is take this if statement, checking for the wall, and actually put it right here. So once they are here, they step bottom down to here, and then immediately see the wall and write the results. So is this faster? Well, not really. <laughs> That's weird. I have a way I could optimize this a tiny bit more, but probably not even worth it at all. We're at 39 commands. I'm really happy with this. And this is really interesting. Professional software developer, and this hurt my brain. Thank God for C Sharp instead of whatever this drag and drop crap is in this game. I think it's because this game appears to make heavy use of GoTo for looping. Well, honestly, I think you're absolutely right. And in the past, I've actually had a commenter tell me that he really enjoys this go-to jump bullshit. And I really do believe that, you know, when you're starting with coding, 
Well, first of all, this is probably easier to make as a computer game, but I believe it's easier for beginners to understand. Because I remember at university I used to have trouble understanding this and I just wanted to put go-tos everywhere because it made sense, right? Just like, all right, now we're at this part of the code and I want to start here again. How do I do it? Because, you know, you probably don't learn loops until like, okay, lesson two, fair enough, but you know, so your first intuition would be, now I'm here and I want a command that's gonna tell me that I need to start here again. Because I think with the loops, the problem is that you first declare the loop, but you don't yet realize what's gonna happen in the loop and that you actually need a loop. So, so, so the thought process, at least of a beginner or, you know, a normal brain would be, I need to step, then, you know, check wall and check this sheet. Hmm, I need to do it again. And beginners probably would write all of this code again. You know, just do it twice. So write the code twice and only then realize that the code is actually the same and they can create a function or, you know, loop it or whatever. Well, this was really nice. And I'm sorry if I ever gave you nightmares uh, when I talked about unit testing. Spend five hours on Monday writing unit tests is uh, surely nothing to be happy about. So good luck in the future. And next time, another shit level. Oh, the completed, love it. Another shit level. Many of these are completed, but maybe there are some useful comments in there as well. We shall see.